Hello, my name is Jacques Chevalier. Welcome to Methods for Participatory Action Research. This tool is in Module 1 of the Handbook. It helps bring to light the many hats you wear when doing participatory action research. That is, the various roles you play and the extent to which they are well balanced and complement each other or not. Start by defining whose roles you want to assess. Is it your organization, your team, or you as an individual? Draw a diagram identical to the figure. In the upper left square, mark the time and effort you spend conducting methodical investigations towards the advancement of evidence-based knowledge. Use the leftward arrow and a scale of 0 to 10. Then use the upward arrow to mark the time and effort you spend communicating your findings through research papers and sole authored or co-authored publications, again on a scale of 0 to 10. Mark the place where the two scores meet. The new square this creates is the place or function that research occupies in your work. In the lower left square, Use the leftward arrow to mark the time and effort you spend teaching in your area of interest and specialization. Use the downward arrow to mark the time and effort you spend being an educator, that is, applying the right skills, methods, and techniques to support meaningful and effective student learning. Mark the place where the two scores meet. The new square this creates is the place or function that teaching occupies in your work. In the lower right square, use the rightward arrow to mark the time and effort you spend intervening as a content expert that gives professional advice. And then the downward arrow to mark the time and effort dedicated to intervening as a neutral process facilitator. This is someone who knows how to help people work together effectively on things important to them. Mark the place where the two scores meet. The new square this creates is the place consulting occupies in your work. In the upper right square, use the upward arrow to mark the time and effort you spend intervening directly as an actor taking on a leading role. Use the rightward arrow to mark the time and effort you spend intervening as a practitioner, someone who carries out the work and puts plans into action. Mark the place where the two scores meet, the new squares this creates is the place that action occupies in your work. You can use the diagram to reflect on the extent to which each role you play contributes to or conflicts with other roles, your own or those of others. Use a scale of minus 3 to minus 1 for conflicts and plus 1 to plus 3 for positive contributions. Insert each positive or negative score using an arrow that points in the direction of the role it contributes to or conflicts with. Leave scores of zero out of the diagram. Finally, using a scale of one to seven, assess the extent to which your overall profile fits with your organizational mandate and related obligations your own value system, your personal skill set, and also your lifestyle preferences and the choices you'd like to make in that regard. Reflect on the reasons that you have for giving scores that fall below five and write them down. Discuss the result and identify areas where you'd like to make changes, whether they be the roles you take on, the way they complement each other, 
or the extent to which they fit with your mandate, your values, your skill set, and your lifestyle preferences. Identify specific objectives and first steps to meet your goals. This example is part of my story. Years ago, I spent much of my time investigating and writing scholarly articles about indigenous livelihoods and land use in Peru and Mexico. Villagers helped me and my colleagues collect detailed and wide-ranging ethnographic data, reflected on a positive contribution score of plus three. There were no expectations of immediate or future returns to the communities. I used the fieldwork material when teaching and giving formal lectures in social anthropology, a commitment reflected in a positive contribution score of plus three. At the time, I felt that teaching took time away from research, which is what I valued most. This tension is reflected in a negative score of minus two. On the whole, the work I did uh, fit with my academic obligations and also with my personal lifestyle preferences. At some point, however, it became evident to me that this overall work profile did not line up with my personal value system, which includes making a direct and immediate contribution to Indigenous people's lives. Nor did it allow me to make use, uh, use of and further develop my social and facilitation skills. To address these gaps, I plan to better tailor my research and teaching activities to village needs and facilitate participatory action inquiry learning that promotes the development of sustainable livelihoods at the local level.